Welcome to the online training video series for the Milkweed Density Monitoring Protocol. This is the fourth video in the four-part training series. In this presentation, we will discuss monarch butterflies biology, population status, and habitat needs. If you are a Milkweed Monitoring volunteer, this is your fourth and last video. First, let me introduce you to the collaborative. Missourians for Monarchs is a collaborative of conservation and agricultural organizations, government and non-government agencies, utilities, and agribusinesses committed to monarch and pollinator conservation. The collaborative formed in 2015 to address pollinator preservation. In 2016, the collaborative finalized a state conservation plan, making Missouri the first state in the nation to do so. In the plan, the collaborative committed to creating and maintaining 19,000 acres of pollinator habitat annually for the next 20 years. Now that you know a bit more about who Missourians for Monarchs is, let's meet the star of the show. The monarch butterfly is native to the Americas, but can be found on multiple continents. They have a four-stage life cycle that relies on milkweed for two of the stages. Females will lay eggs on their host plant milkweed. Once the eggs hatch, caterpillars solely rely on their host plant for food and shelter. Caterpillars are constantly eating and growing. They will reach 2,000 times larger than their original size before they form a chrysalis. When the monarch emerges from its chrysalis, it spends a few hours drying its wings and pumping fluids into them. It then looks for its first food source. At this stage, monarchs are reliant on nectar-rich sources to fuel them for mating and or migration. In North America, two monarch populations are separated by the Rocky Mountains. Western populations fly down the California coast. Eastern populations are Missouri monarchs over winter in Mexico. Monarchs are the only butterflies with such an advanced two-way migration up to three miles long. The phenomena of the monarch migration has baffled scientists and is still widely studied. Because Missouri is in the path of the flyway for the entire monarch migration, this region is vital for conserving pollinator habitat to maintain the brilliant journey. Beginning in March, monarchs will travel north from Mexico and into the southern United States. They will mate, then lay their eggs on milkweed. The eggs that hatch from the first generation will continue to travel north once they are butterflies. This cycle will continue all the way to southern Canada. In August, monarchs will start traveling south to overwintering sites in Mexico. By late October to early November, the last monarchs will be arriving in Mexico. The generation that overwinters in Mexico is known as the super generation. Some will have traveled almost 3,000 miles. The super generation will also experience reproductive diapause to conserve energy. They will gain reproductive abilities at the end of their overwintering period and start the migration back north again in March. During the past 20 years, monarch populations have decreased significantly. Populations since the 1994 through 1995 overwintering have showed a downward trend with 2015 through 2016 showing a modest increase that was not sustained in 2016 through 2017. In the 1990s, up to 1 billion monarchs made the migration. In 2013 through 2014, the population dropped to 33 million, representing a 90% decrease from the 20-year average. The most recent data shows a 53.22% decrease from the previous season. Only 2.83 hectares were occupied in 2019 through 2020. For reference, a sustainable monarch population needs to occupy at least six hectares. Many factors have challenged monarch populations, including habitat loss, recent droughts, climate change, land usage, poorly timed mowing and herbicide applications, and changes to the agricultural system. A significant decline in nectar sources in milkweed and monarch breeding areas, including Missouri, are also a major threat. The decline in various milkweed species is particularly troublesome as they are essential for monarch survival. Monarch Watch estimates that around 2.2 million acres of potential milkweed is lost in the United States each year. Without milkweed, there will be no monarchs. 
Since 2014, states including Missouri have been submitting yearly totals of newly created or managed monarch and pollinator habitat acreage to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to provide data to aid in their listing decision. In 2020, the decision to list the monarch butterfly as an endangered species was determined warranted but precluded. What does warranted but precluded mean? It means the monarch butterfly meets the criteria for listing as an endangered or threatened species, but the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service does not have the funding or personnel to devote to a listing proposal because there are listing actions with higher priority. So now what? The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service will review the monarch status each year. If a change in the status is warranted, they can take action. In the meantime, they will continue working with their partners, including Missourians for Monarchs. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has a whole web page dedicated to this decision. Here are some of the frequently asked questions on their site. You can visit their site by the link below. So how can you help? You can plant native and plant diverse. Planting with natives can be easy. Start by integrating native plants into your existing flower beds. Convert space at the mailbox, on berms, or flood-prone areas to natives. Or you can go crazy and convert a large part of your yard. If your HOA still wants a monoculture front yard, pull what we call a mullet. Keep the front yard traditionally manicured, but let the backyard go crazy with natives. Pictured here is a front yard plan from Grow Native. Visit their website for even more designs. When planning your habitat, keep in mind what you want it to look like throughout different seasons. Habitats should consist of different bloom times, shapes, colors, heights, and nectar sources. The more diverse your habitat, the more pollinators you will attract. Here's an example from the Xerxes Society of native flowering plants that will keep your habitat blooming from spring to fall. No need to try to remember the table, the link will be included. When planning your habitat, don't forget the native milkweed. Be sure to incorporate native milkweed species into your garden plans for monarch butterflies. It is important that these milkweeds are native as bloom time is crucial to their migration and health. Pictured are some of our favorites in Missouri. Here are some simple management practices you can implement to protect pollinators. You can reduce the use of pesticides and herbicides. When you need to spray, use a nozzle that sprays only what you intend. You can change your mowing practices by selective mowing only what is necessary and avoiding mowing during the migration seasons. If you are a larger property, prescribed fire is also a fantastic tool. Missouri's land is diverse, which means habitat requirements and management will be different throughout the state. Lucky for you, there are plenty of organizations willing to help. Here are just a few specific resources for creating habitat. The Grow Native Resource Guide provides contacts to native plant sales and local businesses that work with natives. Technical assistance is available through the Find an Expert tool on Missourians for Monarchs website. All you must do is type in your county and we will provide contact information to a biologist near you. Do you just need ideas for now? Missourians for Monarchs also has a best management practices available for download on our website. There are many ways you can support pollinators in your area in addition to creating habitat. You can volunteer to collect data, become a master pollinator steward, raise awareness in community events, and share your sightings. However you would like to support pollinators, we are here to support you. If you have questions or would like more information, please feel free to reach out. If you are a milkweed monitoring volunteer, you are now ready to monitor for milkweed density in the field.